everybody out here on YouTube. It is I Hear Her Beautiful Beauty. I want to talk real quick. Going to try to make this a wrapped up quickie video. I know everybody's got time for a darn quickie. I always say I'm trying to go quick. I'm trying to go fast. I'm blah, 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 blah. And it never happens because I either get sidetracked or I, I talk too much detail or too much depth or over talk the situation or you know what I mean, whatever, over explain. Uh, but I did want to talk about this. I want to talk about something with natural nails. If you are a natural nail girl, I so happen to be. Um, I started taking super good care of my nails when I was maybe 10 or 11 years old. And it was kind of like, my dream. I want to have beautiful long nails when I grow up. So that was a 100% goal of mine. So about 11 or 12, I started taking really good care of my nails, uh, my natural nails, and they, they just, they were beautiful. They grew and they got so long and they were so strong and everything is wonderful. Uh, and then adult life happened and then I have three professional level jobs. One of my jobs works with my hands way too much. I keep my nails super professionally short, <laughs> professionally clipped. I clip my fingernails twice a week now, actually. But anyhow, you know, uh, I did have long, beautiful nails. I, do I miss them? Yes and no. Could I type on the computer with them? Probably not. Could I use my iPad or, or a keyboard or whatever or cell phone? You know, probably not. Whatever. Okay, but anyhow, I want to talk about, though, I started to really take good care of my nails, but by the time I got about 13 years old, I discovered this tool and contraption right here. It's basically like a buffer for the nails. It's supposed to give the nails high shine. Um, started using one of these at the, during the summer when I was 13, and I believe it was like by Revlon or something, or it doesn't really even matter the brand, right? I mean, it's just like a, a chamois style uh buffer. I'm trying to think of another word, but I can't think. It's like this, uh, but well, whatever. Okay, whatever they're made out of. It reminds me of like a chamois that waxes and, and dries cars and things like that, but whatever. Anyhow, whatever it's made out of. The one I used was absolutely identical to this. Started using it during the summer. I was 13 years old. I wrecked my nails. I literally ruined my nails. First off, let me tell you what started to happen. Now, it started slowly during the summer, but it, it definitely happened. But by the end of the summer, my nails were thin. My nails were brittle. Uh, my nails were porous. Literally, my, my natural fingernails had holes in them, literally, because I remember playing with nail polish, painting my nails, doing everything that I always did to take care of my nails. And no matter what brand nail polish, nail nail polish, nail lacquer, nail paint, whatever you want to call it, there's like a bazillion names, right? Nail polish, okay? Just a, you know, generalization subtitle there, if you will. No matter what brand I used, it seemed to settle into these little pitted holes in my nails. So <coughs> that's what happened. It thinned my nails out. It, it made them so weak and so puny, uh, I started to have pitted like holes in my nails. Also, at the end of the summer, my nails started to kind of split and tear away, uh, like layer, layer from layer from layer. Kind of hard to describe, but anyhow, I definitely don't recommend using these. Obviously, I was 13 years old, and I can guarantee you that I might have been a little obsessive and definitely overusing this product and I would just sit for minutes at a time and just over buff my nails. I really like that natural um, luster and that natural shine that it would give your nails. But OMG, I completely wrecked my nails with this. And the thing is, it took about a year for my nails to grow back uh, to the way they were. You know what I mean? It took about a year, as far as I remember, uh, because I remember just when I had those pitted like holes in my nails, the nail polish would sink into those holes. Even when I would just use a clear top coat, a base coat, an undercoat, clear nail polish, just whatever you want to call it, it would sink into those holes and you could still literally see my nails being pitted. So I definitely recommend against using these. Obviously, I know they're used at nail salons, but then again, you know, uh, buffing on false nails, acrylic nails, shellac nails, you know, gel, whatever, you know, buffing against that is different surface than buffing against a natural 
you know, grown keratin protein, dead keratin protein natural nails. So if you have natural nails, I would definitely avoid this. And this tool has, gadget has been in the drawer in my beauty room forever. And uh, <clears throat> for some reason, it has moved all over with me. I have moved, traveled about six or 7,000 miles in between states. Every time I seem to make a move, for some reason, this gadget seems to make its way with me. <clears throat> I will say that I intended to set out to make this video today. I am going to be parting with this baby. So I am going to be throwing this in the trash today because like I said, I have not used this since I was summer of 13 years old, okay? And learned my lesson of natural nails and uh, yeah. And now that I have to keep my nails, you know, professionally short for my job and my work and I clip my nails twice a week, you know, I, I love nails, but they're not, life does not revolve around nails, you guys. But if you want to take care of your natural nails, I definitely recommend against using these buffers because you end up putting too much pressure, too much friction, uh, and it thins the nails out. And then, like I said, other disastrous side effects happen. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's my take on it, guys. I love you. Thank you for watching. Take care. Happy nail care. Bye, beautiful.